What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? Welcome to Nothing But Sports Video Blog. Of course, I'm the dude. You know him. Mr. Truex himself. You can find me each and every Tuesday night on Black Flag Radio. It's Nothing But Sports Show at 9 o'clock Central Time, 10 o'clock East Coast Time, and 7 o'clock West Coast Time, or Pacific Time, whatever you have, you're going to say it. I'm here to make this little blog about the Saints, basically... Letting everybody go. Everybody's mad. Who that nation's mad. Y'all know I'm a Saints fan. So let me tell you what I think. I'm okay with them getting rid of Darren Sproles. For those that don't know, Cadet will be a ball player. Tavoris Cadet will be a, a ball player. Y'all don't have to worry, Saints fans. We're going to be okay. Second, we let go of Lance Moore. I understand why. Lance Moore has been hurt recently. Lance Moore, if you're listening to this blog, just know. I love you. you. You did great things for the Saints, but it's time to move on. And, and it's okay with me. Now, this is the biggest thing that all my friends, everybody's going crazy with, with me as far as who that nation. I don't believe the Saints should have signed Jimmy Graham to a ridiculous contract. Yes, Jimmy Graham is a great tight end. I take nothing from, from him for that. He, no doubt you can't argue that. But do the Saints need Jimmy Graham with a big old salary cap hit? Absolutely not. We won a Super Bowl without Jimmy Graham. We won a Super Bowl without Darren Sproles. As long as you have Sean Payton and Drew Brees there, the Saints have a chance. So with that being said, I know the that the Saints franchise tag Jimmy Graham. But it wasn't the exclusive franchise tag. It was like a soft franchise tag where a team can give up two first round picks and then the Saints and then sign them and the Saints have have seven days to basically match that offer. So I th- I came up with this. This is just me, True Extra Sports Guy. I personally think that in a win win situation, the New England Patriots and yes, I said the New England Patriots should give up the first, well, two first round picks to get Jimmy Graham. Could you could you imagine Rob Gronkowski and Jimmy Graham on the same team? That would just be crazy. They had Aaron Hernandez. They have Rob. They had Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski. That would be that was crazy. Now imagine them with Jimmy Graham and Rob Gronkowski. That would just be ridiculous. And I think that New England should go ahead and pull the trigger. Last year, everybody was like, Tom Brady don't have no weapons. Tom Brady don't have no weapons. Gronk was hurt. Welker was out. I mean, it was just crazy last year. I think you bring in Jimmy Graham. Then you team up with Gronk and Tom Brady and all those boys. That would be that would be crazy. So I think that would be good for the Patriots. And as far as the Saints, the Saints need to get younger. Even though Jimmy Graham is a young tight end, they can't afford to take that salary cap hit. So, you go ahead and get the first two, the two uh, first round picks. You still have your two first round picks for the next next two years, and I think it's a win win for all for all parties involved. Some other teams that I think had should consider giving up the first two picks. I don't know if they should do it per se like New England. I really believe New England should do it. Is the Atlanta Falcons? They should consider it. I mean. Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, Jimmy Graham, <coughs> excuse me, that would be bananas. Another team, the Green Bay Packers, oh my God, Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Graham, that would be awesome. Not to mention, I would really like to see the Detroit Lions add to that. The Detroit Lions have a, a really good defensive front. They got a great offense. I understand people say, well, you need to work on that back end of the defense. But just imagine Jimmy Graham, Reggie Bush, and Calvin Johnson. How do you deal with something like that? If Matthew Stafford plays up to par, the Lions could be very dangerous. The last team on my list would be the Cincinnati Bengals. You got Giovanni Bernard. You got A.J. Green. Give Andy Dalton another weapon. Jimmy Graham would be perfect over there. I know they got some young tight ends in Jermaine Gresham and Eifert, Tyler Eifert. But... I mean, they're not Jimmy Graham. Let's not kid ourselves. So no doubt about it, that's what I would do if I was the Saints and teams that's around the league thinking about giving up the two first-round picks. Outside of those five, I don't know if I would give up two first-round picks. Jimmy Graham, 
No disrespect to you, but you did not show up in the playoff game against Seattle. You didn't show up against Seattle the first time around. He didn't show up against New England when to live to live a uh, keep to live shut him down. So yeah, I would definitely get rid of Jimmy Graham. Who that nation? I know y'all might be mad at me. This is nothing but sports video blog. I am True X. Well, y'all can follow me on Twitter at I am True X, and I'll get let y'all know anything about sports that y'all want to know. Y'all have a question? Hit me up. I got y'all. Make sure that y'all tune into the Nothing But Sports Show on Black Flag Radio each and every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Central Time, 10 o'clock East Coast Time, and 7 o'clock Pacific Time. Also catch me on my KLAF Trendsetter TV. Well, let me say it a different way. Catch me on Trendsetter TV on my KLAF where I do the so official sports briefs. And I did basically do like a little five to ten minute segment about sports, what's going on in sports, what's happening in sports, what's happening in sports. So make sure y'all check me out on TV, radio, I'm everywhere, man. True X the Sports Guy. I'm out. Peace.